Uh, surely we can start with the meeting. It's it now uh, five past three. Um, I'm going to request uh, um, we are we are correcting. I'm going to request that um, um, Lubabalo uh, presents um, the apologies to us. And you are all welcome. If you can mute your mic, uh, Honorable Ngozi, Barry Swartz, uh, Mishek Ngozi, kindly mute your mic, please, so that we are not disturbed. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, uh, Mr. Squela. Hey, good afternoon, Chair. Good afternoon. Yes, Chair. I, I only received uh, one apology from Honorable Ngola. He will be 15 minutes late uh, to join the meeting, Chair. Um, um, sorry, uh, Mr. Squela, I did not capture that. Apologies. I only received one apology. Urumungola, he is uh, running a bit late, 15 minutes late to join the meeting. And also another one from uh, Deputy Minister Porters will not be available. He's attending another meeting, which is start starting at the same time as our was Okay. So those are the only apologies which we are yes, we yes. have. Yes, sir. Um, I hope, honorable members, all of you, uh, you have the agenda. Or do you want us to present the agenda as well? Do you have the uh, agenda? Yeah, yeah, we've got an agenda. It's uh, only one item, so we can proceed. Is it one item? Are we looking at yes, the same agenda? Oh, My, is it, mine is, one, is it one item? Which agenda are you looking at? Yeah, it's one or two items, okay. Mine has two items, okay. But the question was very clear. Do you have the agenda in front of you? Yes, Che. Or do you want us to present the agenda? I'm even tempted to present the agenda in view of the fact that the WIP has one item on the agenda in front of him. And when I have a, so much items in front of me. So a, the agenda before us a, is the opening and welcoming apologies consideration and adoption of the draft adjustment budget vote report, a consideration and adoption of the draft report on fourth quarter performance of the department, consideration and adoption of draft portfolio committee minutes, which is one point which I said we are not going to do today. It must be, um, in our next meeting. Are we clear, honorable members? Yes, Chair. Chair. Mm -hmm. Are we all clear? Is that what you have in front of you? Yes, Chair. Yes, uh, Chair. We're clear. So can we move for the adoption of the agenda? Is that what you have in front of you? I move uh, the adoption of yes, the yes, agenda. Yes, uh, uh, we, we, uh, you raise your hand. You said you find how to raise it. You have you are liberated. Honorable Mwela, 
to be technologically awake. And uh, we are also meeting here after the said news of the passing on of two ambassadors uh, of our country. Uh, one, it was Comrade uh, Ambassador Roma Sipile, uh, who passed on before uh, Ambassador uh, Zinzi Mandela. And I wonder if there's a portfolio committee to observe a moment, a moment of silence. All of us must mute our mics because I hear there's noises in the background. I don't know who has not muted his or her mic because we should know when we enter the meeting, you enter the meeting with your mic off. Can we just cooperate with, with each other? I'm going to ask uh, the male uh, honorable members and uh, those who are from the department to take off their heads for us to be able to observe a moment of silence for our ambassadors who have passed on. And when we observe a moment of silence, DG, you don't talk, you focus on the moment of silence. Yes. Amen. Um, thank you very much, uh, honorable members. Uh, I'm not going to do any opening remarks today because I want us to focus on what the department is presenting to us today, deliberate on that and uh, be able uh, to get whatever answers and clarities uh, that you will be seeking. And we are supposed to finish this meeting uh, within no time, it should not be a long meeting. Not unless there is there's a, there are issues that might arise uh, from the presentation of the department. Um, on um, DG, I don't see some of your colleagues here. When I you would know better. So you are alone today, yeah. That's what I I see, but uh, be that as it may, we are going to allow the department uh, to present it to us. You are going to table all your presentations and um, and then we'll allow the honorable members uh, to, to deliberate on your on your on your presentation. I know all of you 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 are staring at my scarf. This one is not from Arabastad. 
It's from Yasser Arafat himself. I know, Honorable Nkosi, you have it. <laughs> <laughs> We are the yeah. people of Palestine, and you know what? So, DG, without wasting time, eh, over to you. Honorable Chair, honorable members, we did not know that we were going to present. The understanding was that um, the presentations were made and that the committee was going to consider and adopt the report based on what we presented uh, in both the adjust adjustment as well as the quarter four. And um, that was the understanding, Honorable Chair. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I got it right, but that was what uh, I believe was the indication to us. The case is muted. The chair is muted. Is it the chair who's muted? Thank you, DG. Uh, Dinewo. Dinewo. Uh, yes, Chairperson. Dinewo. Chairperson. Um, can you do the first part of the report? Uh, I will deal with the, the recommendations. I'm hoping all members uh, have the the presentation uh, before them. Uh, some of us are still disturbed by the untimely death of Okumri Tuzins because it's too close to home. So, uh, Dinewo, uh, as we normally do, you are going to do the introductory part uh, of the presentation. Uh, I will do uh, the recommendations uh, to the portfolio committee. And when we deal with those recommendations, uh, we are going to follow the norm. Uh, we do them point by point uh, so that um, we are able uh, to to deliberate um, as much as I have noted um, uh, some elements of discrepancies, uh, DG, uh, on, your, on your submissions, but I won't say them now. Uh, we are going to allow Dinewo to do the first presentation, then we'll come in later. Dinewo. Honorable members, you do have the presentation before you, isn't it? Because yes. I had asked that you receive those presentations on time. Yes. Okay. We do. Do you know? Did you? Is it allowed? Is it allowed that we should also have sight of that, if possible, or you are not allowed until well, the committee is done? You are going to note everything uh, whilst Dineo is presenting. And then when we adopt, you are going to get uh, the adopted version uh, of the report. Uh, uh, the adopted reports will be sent to you, DG, by email uh, for the benefit of the department uh, because it's important that uh, you have all the all what we we we're going to be discussing today, which is our presentation as the portfolio committee. Um, are we are we clear? Or oh, you want me to start with my own observations? 
But I think if I start with my own observations, we are going to dislodge the meeting. Yeah, I know there's people who likes blood on the floor in this meeting. So uh, let me rather allow you to present and then uh, I, I present my observations to the portfolio committee and then we move from that premise, right? Thank you. Okay, Chairperson. Thank you, Chairperson. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, honorable members. We are dealing with the report on the adjusted budget. And part one of that report uh, talks to the introduction, uh, which is, you know, why the adjusted budget was necessary. The purpose of the supplementary budget review being uh, because of the announcement which was made by President Ramaphosa in terms of the 500 billion fiscal support package. And the fact that 130 billion was supposed to come from departments, hence uh, the involvement of the of parliament in order to make sure that uh, relevant departments are able to, uh, to release funds, which are going to be used for the noble uh, cause of addressing COVID-19. Then, uh, Chairperson, the process was such that the departments were actually uh, asked to identify areas where they can be able to release funds from on those programs which they would necessarily have have um, have not pursued during the lockdown. And uh, with the department that uh, the committee oversees, um, goods and services were identified, and then also uh, funds relating to machinery and equipment and capital assets funding. As a result of that, uh, Chairperson, um, an amount of uh, 317 million will be uh, reduced and uh, taken over by, 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 by Treasury for the purposes of the department's contribution to to COVID-19. Then when we we go to um, part two, chapter of that report, it's uh, the implications of the mandate of the department where uh, the committee was brief, was actually informed by the department last week that there were no major uh, changes to the targets as as their targets are outcome based, the only, um, in fact, the, the, the strategic plan and the APP of the department were to remain intact. And then with, with regard to the ARF, the strategic plan was, to, was, was going to remain intact. The only uh, changes would be in the APP of the ARF. The ARF, the reason for the changes in the ARF is that uh, the ARF uh, this year had planned to support uh, the programs of the AU chair, which is President Ramaphosa, in terms of uh, his program within the AU. So at the beginning of the pandemic, the entity found itself having to make payments for humanitarian uh, reasons to the you know uh, causes related to COVID-19. So as a result, and and the fact that uh, there was supposed to be an extraordinary summit held in South Africa in May, uh, relating to the the silencing of the guns and also the implementation of uh, the African Continental Free Trade Area, uh, those two events were not able to take place because of uh, the pandemic. And therefore, the ARF uh, contribution and funding towards uh, those processes had to be uh, deferred to 2021. And some of these of its programs, it had to actually either reduce percentages of uh, 
achievement or increase the percentages of achievement in terms of uh, the processes that will be coming. For example, it had to reduce uh, from 100 to 75 with regard to support to uh, elections within the southern region. The reason being Malawi has already, the elections have already happened in Malawi and therefore it's a minus one event. And the, we are left with about uh, four more elections uh, before the end of the year. So Chairperson, when it comes to uh, section three of that report, it's uh, the analysis on each budget how uh, each, each, I mean, each, not each, but each program, how each program has been impacted upon. And then the department explained that uh, much as some of the, the, the targets, at least for the department, some of them were supposed to be, to have been achieved in, in, in quarter one and quarter two, the department will still endeavor to achieve, to achieve, uh, uh, those uh, uh, targets with less. So they will still endeavor to make sure that by the end of the financial year, the targets that the department has set itself to achieve will be achieved. And then part four, Chairperson, is the, the table of adjustments. Uh, that's the financial information showing uh, how much has been taken from, from each program so that the total of 317 million uh, would have been uh, accumulated uh, from the deductions which were done on each program. And then Chairperson on chapter five of the report is the issues on the ARF, which I have already explained. Uh, the only thing here which I can still refer to Chairperson is the the fact that uh, the the summit is going to be in January 2021, according to uh, the estimation that was given by by the department. And then, um, with regard to issues which are impacting on committee recommendations. The committee recommendations, Chairperson, the ones which uh, the committee made on the budget vote report before the, the adjustments were made to the budget vote. Uh, one area which the committee had recommended on, it's on the modernization of the ICT systems in the department. So as a result of um, money be going to be taken away from machinery and equipment. What it means is that uh, some of the equipment refreshing the server and some of the equipment which and machinery which the department had planned to do in order to implement the recommendation of the committee will not be possible. However, the department has said the, the, the small uh, items like laptops and uh, desktops, they will still be able to, to, to purchase, to procure. The other uh, recommendation from the committee was with regard to uh, property management. And the fact that uh, the Foreign Service Act has come into force, I mean, has has been assented to by the president. Uh, the committee had said uh, the department should be proactive and have the management of uh, property strategy in place and also have the right uh, capacity, the relevant capacity in the department in readiness for, for takeover of all the state-owned um, properties abroad. Uh, because now uh, with the fact that the department has uh, money will be taken away from capital assets funding, there will be no new projects happening there. The department has um, actually undertaken to still 
you know, to to the department explained that they were buying time so that they are able to respond to the recommendations by the committee to make sure that by the end of the financial year, at least they would have in place the property management uh, strategy and all the relevant items and the, the ones that the committee had listed, you know, capacity building mm -hmm. in the built environment, uh, readiness to actually take over and maintain a uh, purchase um, and then uh, be, 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 be fully responsible for custodianship of properties abroad. So those were the, the two major recommendations from the committee, from the the, 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 the original uh, budget vote report, which were impacted upon by, by the changes which were effected. In an event, Tepesen, the department had reported that uh, with regard to ICT, they will still be able to, to do a little bit of um, a procurement on, in that uh, regard. But however, the, on properties, they can only maintain properties. They will not be able to, to do any uh, capital assets funding in terms of construction. So uh, the, uh, chapter six, Chaperson is on, on findings. I think Chaperson, I can uh, stop there so that uh, then Chaperson will be able to take the members through on that one. Thank you, Chairperson, and honourable members. Okay, uh, honourable members, um, I must make this point uh, is that um, uh, in our meeting of the 8th of July, uh, if you, you still remember uh, in, in my closing remarks, um, the department uh, uh, say they had agreed with National Treasury to put capital projects on hold, uh, if you still remember. And an amount of uh, 199 million has been reprioritized. Uh, I went further to point out that uh, it was then clear that the department had no funds to continue uh, with their capital projects and uh, directed uh, that uh, such a change must be highlighted so that the committee would know where to focus its oversight strategy, where infrastructure is concerned. And the response uh, from the department, ADG, was clear uh, that uh, the remaining funds um, would be directed towards the maintenance of state-owned properties abroad. And the minister went further to say um, with uh, rented properties, concerned owners, landlords abroad, will be responsible for the maintenance of their rented uh, properties. And the department decided to replace the original projects. Uh, and there's changes uh, in essence, um, from what the department had tabled to the uh, the portfolio committee, uh, because the original uh, presentation of the department uh, to the portfolio committee on that day uh, on infrastructure in particular is different. Uh, from uh, the latest uh, submissions. And I thought that when DG, I said, uh, you, you must present that you would be quick to know that you owe the portfolio committee an explanation because we are not going to sit here and discuss the presentations and agree and then to go to go. There's new presentations with changes and we are not informed. And as a portfolio committee, we are supposed to adopt uh, this report uh, procedurally, that would be incorrect. So uh, 
I thought, honourable members, it's important for me to to highlight that, uh, so that uh, when we move forward uh, in discussing um, uh, the, the 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 reports um, as tabled before us, uh, we we have an understanding of what has happened. Are we clear? Is there anyone who wants to say anything before I proceed? Uh, DG, you, you don't know how to raise your hand uh, from your gadget. So you are raising your hand. Honorable Mpanza, you've raised your hand. Yes, uh, Chair. Uh, thanks very much, Chair. I, I think, uh, Chair, what you are raising is very much important. And I think maybe that was the opportunity that you were affording the DG earlier on. Uh, maybe just to take us as to what are the changes in terms of what we discussed in the previous uh, meeting. So, so, so that when we go to your recommendations, We'll see whether those things are affected or in or not. So I think I think Chair, I don't know. It's up to you whether you allow the DG to do that, or maybe uh, you will do it afterwards. But either way, you will have to do it before we actually adopt the report and its recommendations. Thank you, Chair. What's the view of other members? You can lower your hand now, uh, Honorable Mpanza. Okay, thank you. Honorable um, Wela, I see your hand is up. My view, Honorable Chair, oh, thank you, Honorable Chair, for the opportunity. My view also is to support uh, Honorable uh, Mbanza, uh, that um, it will be for the DG before we go into the details of the report just to take us through so that we can have one understanding, all of us. Uh, as we have summarily said it earlier on, Honorable Chief, said, when you were entering into the space uh, of uh, this uh, report. Thank you very much as I submit. Uh, thank you. Honorable Ngozi, is, is your hand, your hand was up. Are yeah, you I'm covered? Yeah, I'm covered, Chief. You are covered. Yes, yeah. sir. Um, welcome, uh, Deputy Minister uh, Candice Masiho. I can see uh, you have joined us uh, to our meeting. Um, honorable members, we are going to deal with the recommendations because I thought Dineo dealt with the findings. Uh, when she did um, the, the presentation, uh, as well as the observations uh, of the portfolio committee. Uh, so the recommendations are on page, let me see. Uh, on page, I think, 15. Having considered the impact of the adjustment, uh, adjusted budget on the strategic plan 2020-2025 and the budget vote six of the department 2020-2021 and its entity, the committee recommends uh, that the minister should consider the following and report on the progress within three months of the adoption by the National Assembly of this report. 9.1, uh, that uh, presenting the implementation plan of the Foreign Services Act with clear timeframes to enable the portfolio committee to enhance its oversight strategy on the act monitoring the repatriation processes as requested by citizens abroad to guard against possible abuse of the goodwill system 
ensuring the continued processes for the modernization of the ICT system, align the operations of the department with the demands presented by COVID-19 for virtual existence, submitting a report regarding its property management strategy, a strategy team, to back up what information was given to the committee, ensuring the recovery of all repatriation costs from all citizens who signed the contracts acknowledging debt for advance payments made by the department. Uh, the committee recommends that um, the supplementary budget vote six international uh, relations and cooperation uh, be, be passed. So in essence, uh, honorable members, that's, that's what we, we are busy with. Surely the report is before you. So those are the, the recommendations. Any comments on that? Honorable Ngosti, I see your hand is up. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, I think um, on 3.1 of the body of the report, uh, I think that it's paragraph one, two, three, the paragraph starting with the department reported that with regard to the portfolio committee oversight call. I think we should say, I think we should say with regard to the portfolio committee's oversight recommendations, not call. Call, that's correct. Okay. And then chair on 6.4.1, uh, paragraph 6.4.1 deals with two, for me, deals with two distinct issues. It's the, it was a proposed conf continental conference on uh, silencing the gun, the guns, and the readiness on uh, the African Free Trade Continental Agreement. My suggestion is that we break it into 6.4.1, addressing silencing the guns, and 6.4.2, addressing the postponed uh, AFCTA conference. And then I, yeah, I think on the recommendations, I think all the recommendations are, are accepted, except that there are issues that were discussed in the observations which are important, which I think should be lifted. The, the first one is around continuous progress to be provided by the department on the situation in Northern Mozambique and the role of the, the country and the department. So that should be the, the first recommendation that is lifted. It's not necessarily linked to the actual budget, but it was discussed extensively. The second one, I think, relates to continuous briefing by the department on our relations with Israel and progress on what specific actions the country and the department are taking to ensure that we serve ties with Israel. Honorable Mpanza. Can you can you unmute your mic? Oh sorry, sorry, Chair. No, oh, honorable course has covered me on the issues that he has raised, but on recommendation that is dealing with the ICT. We, 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 I think it's correct, but then we said we would like to get a, a, a regular a progress report uh, on, on, on that one. 
So, so, so I think that we, we can, we can, we, we, we should add that one as well. Did we say regular or we said we want it in three weeks? Did we get the one of three weeks in the first week? Yeah, the, yeah, it was three weeks, but I think uh, three weeks is already, is, is almost lapsing now. So, un, unless we want another three weeks. So, <laughs> so that's why I'm saying on regular basis, yeah. Okay. Uh, Honorable Bergman, Honorable Msane, uh, Honorable Msane. Yeah, thank you very much. I would have liked to have gone after Honorable Msane though, but uh, just to say with regards to Israel and Palestine, um, and it would be the same for Morocco as well and any other conflicted area, that maybe the possibility we should do is hold on for the resolutions for now and possibly look at either doing some site visits in terms of maybe going to these areas and doing, um, uh, you know, going to see for ourselves and learning the conflicts properly and educating ourselves as to what's going on and hearing from both sides. I know that, I know that we, I know that we we think we know what's going on, and I appreciate that we have a, a history. But until such time as uh, the last, not last term, the term before went on an oversight tour and they came back with a different, uh, they came back with a report and then last term, we said that we would go on a, we would go on a tour and we actually never went on that tour. And maybe the possibility exists that we should maybe just think about for Morocco as well for, uh, you know, all, all the conflicted areas is actually going to possibly be the same um, in, uh, you know, I, I'd like to possibly suggest that Zimbabwe would possibly be another nice uh, oversight to for us to we, we can do it all in one we can do it all in one go, but just to say that maybe that should be a suggestion that we just we on on the on the disputed territories or, as such that we just we we look at possibility of of actually engaging in its uh, more intently. Thank you very much. Honourable uh, Musan. Thank you, Chair. Yes, Baki. We are not going to Israel. Hi, Bo. Bergman, you want to get us killed? We are not going there. Those people are imperialists. They are in apartheid state. It will revive memories of what happened in South Africa. And get Bergman. We reject that one with content and ease. Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. Uh, first of all, let us send our condolences to the family of Umamazinzi, Sila Shegelwe, Chairperson, and the Siaz Gukona Bakita, you got to see a gegeleo, Mobatina Sila Shegelwe, Chairperson, Uibegile Indugu Ebanja. Chairperson, this report. <laughs> As you may know, Chairperson Guti is or transpire Ganjan, but my 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 input chair comes in with the fact of um, the content of compensation of employees. I foresee that will be a problem because there is no way of addressing that moving forward due to the rent fluctuations. And then the funds, Chairperson, from the ARF. The funds from the ARF, Chairperson, we can see that the conflict is rising in the continent. I don't know what role is the ARF going to play to make sure that uh, conflict, especially in Mozambique, since we are foreseeing elections soon, to Zobasi Zaganjani. And then also the ICT, Chairperson, although the department is giving us a report that uh, they will be able to meet all the demands, we might as well know now that uh, the African Continental Free Trade Agreement might have been paused. But at the end of the day, they are looking at going digital, digital intracontinental trade. And our department in South Africa, Chairperson, it's not ready for that. So I foresee a problem coming into that also, Chairperson. 
And then the department chair has failed to conscientize South Africans with regards to the role of the AU. The chairperson of the AU is from South Africa, but you can see the instability that some of the mob of South Africa is happening with regards to our fellow brothers in 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 South Africa that are coming from other countries. So I foresee that also being a problem. Also, Chairperson, I would have liked that if possible, we get a time to look at these uh, 65 multilateral bodies that South Africa is involved in and try to streamline them. I don't know if we can also add that into our report, Chairperson, because uh, we belong into too many, some of them might also be considered as a duplication of a, a, a belonging to regional bodies, belonging to treaties. If this committee can be afforded an opportunity, Chairperson, to look into that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Msane, Honorable Molda. Thank you, Chairperson. Um, I think it's always preferable to take informed decisions and informed decisions means that one has to deal with the facts. So I would strongly support the proposal by Mr. Bergman that if possible, the committee take make an arrangement to visit those conflict areas, including Israel. And um, I, I'm not in favor of a, a, a kind of approach that say, don't confuse me with the facts, regardless of which area it is. And if there are members who do not want to participate, we should also make provision for that. With regard to the other proposals and the rest of the report, I'm happy and I will support that. Thank you. Uh, Honorable uh, uh, Swartz. Um, thank you, Chair. Chair, I just need the department to clarify us the utilization of the budget has taken away 200 million. My watch, you are breaking. You can continue, but you are breaking. Your chair, can you hear me? Yeah, you are breaking. Yeah, am I on now, chair? Yes, you are fine. Continue, honorable. Thank you, chair. chair, I'm just yes, sir. I'm just saying, chair, that the department must give us clarity since there are changes on the revised APP that relates to infrastructure projects. Because in the last meeting, I'm the one that raised it as well. That if they can just clarify to us that um, in the last meeting we advised them as a committee that they should have a PMU as to will they be able to have a strategy now implemented either than just doing a maintenance on, on projects on state-owned properties. Will they still be able to uh, implement uh, having a PMU? And also will they be able to implement the strategy on, on um, having a PMU unit that actually is able to uh, implement what they are supposed to do. Um, also having seen that they had said no to a couple of questions relating to the built environment, having an actual unit that can implement the work. Now, coupled with the 200 million that has been taken away, either than doing maintenance, can the department relate to us what they will be able to do in terms of having a PMU and at the same time implementing a structure? Thank you. Uh, honorable members, uh, I see you want to. Who has an iPhone? Who, who has an iPhone here? Who is iPhone here? Hello. Who is iPhone? 
Can you hear me? Can you rename that gadget? Oh. Rename the gadget, please, and mute your mic. Otherwise, I'm going to remove you from this meeting if you don't rename your gadget. Um, Honorable Ngozi, is your hand up? What's happening here? Or you raised yes. your hand earlier on and never lowered it down? No, I raised it now. I, I just want to make an input before you, you conclude. Okay. Oh, if, if the opportunity arises, maybe. Make it quick. No, Chair, I, I, I broadly agree with the view that uh, we cannot take decisions without being informed fully on, on facts and maybe direct evidence of what is happening in conflict areas. I, however, think that the issue of Palestine-Israel has been on the agenda of both this country and the world for long for us to understand the implications of the actions taken by the Israeli government, particularly in the past five years, intensifying from 2018-19, uh, backed by uh, the United States government. If we were to wait for an oversight visit to make our own observations, there won't be any state of Palestine there with the current activities of annex annexation taken by the Israelis. So at the, at, the, at the public international level, the facts are very clear. Palestinian lands are being annexed without um, um, uh, any recourse that the Palestinians have to anybody. And taking a principal stand uh, signals on our side as a country that we abhor this type of, of, of behavior. Uh, so my suggestion is that we, yes, we must base our issues on evidence, but on this particular one, it is clear that the, the, the Israeli state continues to annex and, and, and take Palestinian lands. By the time we go there, there may not even be any population left that has got a resemblance of what Palestine looked like, 1967 or even beyond 1967. So if we call on the department to brief us continuously on the country stance and on their, as a department approach, it is simply to say, we want to make a stand. We must, must take a stand. Thank you, Chair. Uh, honorable members, um, many of the issues which we have raised here, um, they are detailed in the minutes of the meetings which we had uh, on the fourth uh, quarter and the uh, report and adjusted a uh, budget. Now, I am not sure whether you want those issues to appear on this report, which we are going to table in parliament, how? And two, um, with the situation uh, throughout the globe, there is no way that we can wait for an oversight to Israel uh, for us to be able to make our own observations. The department has people assigned uh, to the responsibility uh, of looking into um, those uh, countries. So we must get a presentation from them uh, again, uh, on what is happening in Israel and Palestine, and then be able to make our own determination and our own observations and uh, take it from there. Because I don't want us to, to raise things which are impossible here in the Portfolio Committee, because oversight visits to other countries they they are prohibited 
uh, they are not going to happen anytime soon uh, because of the state of disaster uh, we are in. There are no flights that uh, are going in and out uh, of, 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 of the country. Uh, so, uh, honorable members, um, uh, generally in the continent, there's a, there's a crisis. With the results of Malawi, honorable Msani, uh, of the elections, you realize that the continent is sitting on a time bomb. Uh, perhaps uh, UTG at some point uh, with one of uh, the responsible persons in the department should come and give us a presentation uh, on these issues. If ISIS is in Mozambique, it's just next door. It's close to Mpumalang, by the way, or KwaZulu-Natal. Uh, they are here in our, back, in our backyards. Uh, so these are the matters which the portfolio committee should reflect on, uh, discuss, and make recommendations, and uh, ensure uh, that uh, we respond our solutions uh, to to the political principles uh, in the department. Um, honorable members. Uh, if there's nothing else, I am tempted to say, uh, just to clear the confusion that we consider the minutes um, depending on the time, because I don't want us to exceed the time limit for our portfolio committees, because punctuality uh, is very important for you uh, people who are dealing with diplomas. So, uh, uh, we must be punctual at all all costs uh, and behave like uh, the sons and daughters of reference, which are always early uh, on, on, on events. So can I get a, um, a sense of uh, anyone who is of the view that we should not uh, adopt the report because I had uh, most of the speakers uh, supporting the report, but supporting the report, however. So now we are going to move for the adoption of uh, the report and the recommendations with that slight uh, change uh, on 6.4.1 and 6. 4.2, uh, Ms. Musala, that uh, needed to be a uh, standalone point. Uh, I think we, we all accept that. Um, can we then move for the adoption of the report? Honorable Swartz, I okay. see. Are you clapping hands or you? what are you doing? Honorable... Me. Honorable Swartz, I see two hands. What what are you doing? Are you raising your hand or you are clapping hands? Or oh, you've changed it now. You must get used to these gadgets, please, guys. And how, I mean, we've been on this uh, virtual thing for a long time now. Uh, Honorable, I see there's many hands for the adoption of the report. Let me see. Five participants, hands are up. What's happening here? Okay, mine's not for the adoption. Mine's Honor to make an Honor input. Honorable Bergman, you want to give another input, not an input, another input. But just to make a comment. Another That's comment not, on state solution. Yeah, it's not an yes, adoption. What? It's just to, just to put it on record that we're not against the, the report per se, but just to say you that... Are breaking, Honorable Bergman, you are breaking. There's a problem with your network. Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, continue. Uh, just to say yes, that you are fine now. we agree in principle with what uh, Honorable Mkosi is saying, that we also have a problem with the building on the settlements and that we've, we know that uh, South Africa is already downgraded 
um, and so on that point on the report we don't argue that what we're saying though is that in terms of bilateral agreements that are already still in place that we we still maintain that dialogue as a form of diplomacy which is exactly what uh, the DERCO diplomacy and South Africa's uh, international relations policy is we're still saying that would be best included in the report so that's our only contention on the report side so that's our only that's the comment from us that makes it that just makes it contentious for us in the report we don't not agree with with uh, you know we 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 pretty much in line with what the honorable course is saying uh, chair chair is, is a point of uh odd yes we no it's a point of order chair uh, i think maybe uh, honorable bedman did not uh, hear you when you were uh, chatting the way forward on these issues. Uh, I'm glad that he agrees with the course, but you have said uh, these issues, maybe let us arrange another session as a committee where we'll get a presentation uh, so that we'll discuss it. So I wanted to, to uh, plead with the Honorable Beckman that can we wait uh, for that time? where we will then engage. But of course, I think no one is opposed to a dialogue uh, and, and, and you agree with Nkosi, but uh, the chair, I think has helped us to chart the way forward as to how we'll deal with those issues going forward. Thank you, chair. Um, honorable. Sorry, sorry, Chair. So I have to now can then put it on the on the on the screen. The, just how the report's recommendations look. You don't you don't have a copy. No, how they, they've changed now, haven't they? <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, nothing has changed. I read the recommendations out to all of you, hoping that you have copies in front of you. But then so if, they, if they haven't changed, then I'm fine. If they've changed, though, then. Mm. No, there's not, nothing has changed. Okay, we will okay. do that. Um, Honorable Swartz. Chair, I was going to move for the adoption um, of the report uh, with the amendments that you tabled now before you um, asked for comments or any of us that would move for the adoption of the report too. Okay. okay. Um, Honorable Bachman, the, the dialogues, I don't think that dialogues would be an issue because we, we, there's platforms during this uh, uh, COVID uh, which presents an uh, opportunity for us to do that. The department can assist us to hold a webinar and we can have those dialogues. Those dialogues cannot wait for the for for COVID to pass because we 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 are coexisting with it. But however, eh, honorable members, I think it will also help you. Eh, it will also help you if we present the minutes on these two reports so that you see the detail in how those minutes are captured uh, on both uh, on both reports and then uh, surely um, all of us will be certain that the report indeed is captured correctly uh, except for those two uh, corrections or suggestions that we highlight uh, the two points on the um, on the report. Um, um, so as as also we are deliberating on this issue, you, we must also be mindful of the fact that this thing is called supplementary budget to our budget food. So there's there's, there's nothing new uh, we can in fact put, but um, just to allay your fears, uh, we are going to present those minutes uh, so that we are clear on what uh, we have discussed and, and, and remind ourselves 
the of the decisions which we took uh, in the previous meetings when we were reflecting on these two issues. Now, without wasting time, uh, I will give the uh, the DG one minute, only one minute to explain if he still wants so wish to speak on this matter. Honorable Chair, thank you very much and honorable members. I wanted to clarify that matter which I was invited to talk to, where we wanted to emphasize that the only changes on the revised APP relates indeed to the infrastructure projects listed on page 82, on page 82, uh, whereby there was an intention to go and, 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 and do projects in Luanda, uh, Namibia, and uh, AES, et cetera. So with the reduction of the baseline by 199, uh, the department is left with only option of maintenance of state-owned properties. And, and among others, the work is still preliminary to set up a, a PMU uh, based on the fact that we are currently having a project on the implementation of the act with clause by clause with a strategic uh, subcommittees to look at and see what we can do. So uh, it, it has to be emphasized because it is only on the monetary side that affects the initial uh, uh, listing in page 82, which will obviously be deferred to the later financial years as the remainder of the adjusted baseline will obviously not cover what was intended. Thank you, Honorable Chair and Honorable Members. Honorable Members, uh, the report was adopted. Um, having that report being adopted, um, we I see Honorable Sane's hand is up on the system. Honorable Banza, why is your hand up again? Uh, we can move back. No, we can move back and forth. We we can move back and forth. Uh, we can't we can't tap dancing. Uh, at some point we, we must move. I see Honorable uh, Bachman's head is up again. And the uh, Honorable Mustani's hand is up again. Honorable Bachman, what is it now? Let's say you recognize Mustani first. Honorable Mustani first, don't you? But you can't tell me how much chair the oh, sorry, okay. with a co chair here. I'm the only person here. Because this hand of okay, Honorable has disappeared now. I don't know where the hand has disappeared to. It's sorry, where? I just thought as the deputy I'd help you. Chair, um, <laughs> Chair um, I just wanted to say that we, we, still, we reserve our rights for as the DA. Uh, but, the, but that thing is not new, boys. You must say, as, as always, Chair. We as are, always, Chair. Right. Yeah. Thank see, you, Chair. <laughs> and this one of Mzane is going to reserve the right as well. Where is uh, that head, Honorable uh, Mzane? Honorable Mzane, I don't see, let me see here, let me open it's this. There, it's there. I want people to raise their hands on the system. It's Honorable there, Sunny, up. Okay. It's there. Mm. Yes, I see. Chairperson, uh, uh, but firstly, before I, I speak to the report, let me just say to Honorable Bachman, we understand your passion with these Israelites, but to us, they are a very sore point and what they are doing to the Palestine it's very painful but uh, we understand why you are so passionate because also they they are one with Trump you know but uh, not not being on that point Jefferson, um as the EFF we would like to uh, point blankly reject the report Jefferson, because some of the items we don't foresee them as being implemented and we don't see them happening as uh, being addressed. Thank you, Chair. 
You are super rejectees, Galognina. We are not surprised. Honorable <laughs> Muela. No, Honorable Chair, I raised my hand to second the, the adoption of the report earlier after it was uh, adopted by Honorable um, uh, Swar. And just to alert you, Honorable Chair, that uh, we are not so sure about the iPhone person. Is he or she still there? And it gives us uh, problems because we don't know who is that person. Thank you. Okay. Um, the iPhone person is Bumlwan, but he cannot say. Not Bumlwan. But they, I can. They, the problem about it is that I, I am not young. So these things of technology, you see, sometimes you want me to find out who is this iPhone. I say now. Uh, now you know who is the iPhone. Please. Yeah. Before I can <laughs> change it, I can't do it now. <laughs> On your gadget, ne? Kuko e dots is in that to Ukofa dots is in that to. As that dots is in that to Guzabako into eighty rename. Then la rename Ukofa Guye. Akako, Ukale, Ukona, Etang was the dots is in that to click a was that dots is in that to. Who click a walk over that dozens in that Labona or rename or rename Ukwako Upale advocate in Pumlo and a pia? Upalo, I was that dozens in that. Upalo, that bunch of the five we have. They are present, they are present. It is eating the Quenzel. Okay, eating the Quenzel. In that. All the this and your Fabu Ben. Yeah, oh. I'm done. Yeah, I'm 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 done. When are you born now after technology? <laughs> so why is your hand up? Honorable Swartz, why is your hand your hand up? Honorable Mswe, you are quiet today. Why? Why sorry, chair, I just put down my hand. Says, sorry, chair, it's not up. Ch Chairperson, Honorable. my hand is up. My, my hand has been up on technology. My hand is not appearing, so I can't put it up. There are times when it appears. You know where you, you, know where you find it? Ne? I know, because you I've, used to, it you, I've used it before. I've used it before. Go where? You go to participants. You go to participants there at the bottom. Is how to go raise or lower your hand. I've, I've tried them. I've tried them already. And then yeah. I've tried oh, them already. Oh, you are so quiet today. I thought you had nothing. Because of that, see. my hand was up all, all the time. There's no problem. I did not see because I was on speaker view. Okay. So you are covered. Are you well, I don't, I, well, not necessarily. I don't want to take you back. Um, but if you allow me to, the issue I also wanted to emphasize is the point of making informed decisions. Because when you depend only on what is reported, many times we come across articles that are clearly biased. So when one makes their own observation, it is best to come to a balanced an objective conclusion. So I wanted to, to emphasize that and also to say I agree with what Ntadungosi said, that on issues of conflict, it's best to um, make decisions that are informed. But I also heard your, your point that uh, under COVID-19, you're not allowed to travel. So I'm happy that this issue is going to be revisited and we'll have speakers from both sides. Thank you. You know, honorable members, as much as well we seek to make informed decisions, equally we can't make a prognosis of what we have not had. We must allow people responsible in the department 
to come to the portfolio committee and present. And surely those people are going to report on the findings of the people who are there um, uh, based on that information uh, who are in these countries already. And, and that uh, I, don't, I don't think that it will be an edited version of what they, they would gather uh, as information. So I don't think that it is correct for us to make such prognosis. Let's allow the department to do its work and, 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 and as a portfolio committee, I do what we always do, listen to the department and then make our own conclusion uh, on the matters presented before us because that's what we've been doing, and it. So nothing will change now. Otherwise, if you want to wait for COVID-19, be my guest. I'm not going to force you, honorable members. We can make, we can wait for COVID-19 uh, to pass, even if it passes after five years, it's okay. Then we can do uh, the oversight, right? So um, the report has been adopted uh, by the honorable members and also noting the objection of uh, uh, EFF, and also note that a democratic alliance uh, reserves uh, its right uh, to uh, to say whatever on this uh, uh, on this particular report. Um, why am I called now by the honourable reverend? Well, I also want to say we reserve our right that we will pronounce later on. Thank you. <laughs> you are going to pronounce on a hybrid when we table the report in Parliament. I know it, and we are going to reject it because we want Israel at all costs. Okay, we are in the sensitive. Yeah, it's our it's our democratic exercise as well uh, to do so. So, honourable members, uh, the report uh, is adopted. Uh, we are going to move uh, quickly to the next uh, uh, report, uh, honourable members. Um, now I'm dealing with the recommendations. Um, Ms. Musala, can you quickly take us through uh, the introduction? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, it, quickly, I'll go over the uh, fourth quarter performance report, which uh, the committee uh, set on the 26th of June to consider. Um, one Chairperson is on the mandate of the committee to well the committee and then uh, the you are, you are breaking. You are breaking, Tineo. I think there's a network uh, glitch. Hello, Chairperson. Can members yes, hear me now? You are fine now. Okay. Um, I was saying, Chairperson, the quarter four uh, report, uh, part one is the normal introduction, which uh, specifies the mandate of the committee and also um, the reasons for, for having a quarter four performance uh, report. In fact, all the quarterly reports, the, the, the main reason is to build up for the committee's BRRR report at the end of the year. And then uh, 1.3 is on the mandate of the department, 1.4 on the objectives of the department. And then uh, part two is on the performance of the department, uh, which is performance in general, program one, uh, this is where the department informed the committee of what is happening under what happened under program one in quarter four. One of the areas there was uh, 199 cases of uh, consular services that uh, the department offered. And then there was the issue of the 30 day payment period, which was at 78 percent, uh, 082 which the committee uh, was not happy with. And then the program two, international relations, it, uh, it spoke to the structured bilateral mechanisms 
uh, undertaken by the department in that quarter, which were three. And then uh, the high level visits and tourism seminars, uh, areas where they, some of the activities could not take place because of non-availability of uh, stakeholders. And then program three, Chairperson International Cooperation, it's where the committee was informed of um, uh, activities which uh, took place under that, uh, specifically that the department has about 65 uh, South Africans uh, positioned in identified international organizations abroad. And then the, the fact that the AU summit took place despite the challenges with, with uh, COVID. Program four chairperson is on public diplomacy and uh, protocol services. And uh, the issue there is the public, uh, 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 the public participation uh, 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 events which the department undertook. And then program five is on the international transfers, which are transfers to international organizations and the ARF. Then part three, Chaperson, is on the financial performance of the department where uh, the, the, at the end of the financial year, I mean, of quarter four, uh, the department was at 1 billion, 1 1.6 billion, uh, as opposed to 1.4 billion, which is what uh, they were expected to, to have spent. So the department had gone around 114% over over what was expected to for them to be spending. And the reasons given for that overspending was due to uh, the problems, the challenges with the compensation of empl employees and the foreign exchange fluctuations which impacted upon the budget of the department. And then chapter on four, chapter four relates to the ARF and also the projects which it undertook during quarter four. Then five chairperson is the findings of the committee, which I will end the chairperson. Can Dineo, can you please uh, load uh, the the recommendations on the screen? Okay, chairperson, let me try that. Let me let me give you uh, that right. The yes. yes. Okay. Done. Okay. okay. Can you scroll down? Um. Okay, okay, yes. Then I can go straight to the recommendations. Yes, please. Because the assumption is that honorable members read the document. And I trust that they read the document. Uh, the recommendations, Chaperson, are on the screen. I hope uh, they are visible. Yes, they are visible. Up a bit. Stop there. Honorable members, recommendation from 7.1 to 7.1.3. Uh, Comments? Agree, uh, Can we move uh, uh, the name? Yes, you start from four to four to yeah. Uh, honorable members, here are the recommendations before you. 
Can you come in? Check, oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Check raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. I'm raising. I'm raise it now. Yes. Yeah. Then I can recognize you. Yeah. I think seven point seven point seven seven point one seven. It says increasing representativity in the department of the previously disadvantaged groups, catering for gender mainstreaming, youth development, and access to people with uh, streaming. It, it's it's fine, but I think we must be very specific to say okay, catering for women, youth, gender mainstreaming, and access to people with disability. Because gender mainstreaming is it's for me sort of generic okay. if you don't specifically include women. Did you capture did you capture that uh Dineo? Uh I I missed it, Chairperson. Uh, can you repeat uh honorable goes? Yes. I'm yep. saying on 7.1.7, .7, if you read the sentence up to catering for, you should say catering for women, youth, and gender main, uh, yeah, women, comma, gender mainstreaming, comma, youth development and access to people with disability, just to add women specifically. Person, may I ask a question, please? Yes. The question is, if we put um, women after disadvantaged group catering for, and then we start with women and youth development, you, women and gender mainstreaming, are we not unnecessarily repeating ourselves? Gender can be male. Gender is not necessarily a woman. Gender is all of us, men and women. All right. Thank you. Because God created us as such. So it's gender. Catering for gender mainstreaming Uh, youth development, women emancipation, and access for people with disability would sound better. I can see, you know, you are doing corrections. You see, honorable members, where you know is putting women. Honorable Ngozi, are you looking at the screen? Honorable Ngozi. Yes, what I am. Are, I what am. are you reading? No, I think it's fine. The formulation is fine. If if, if she can move the woman. Catering <laughs> for gender mainstreaming. Dineo, delete that woman there, please. Yes, catering for gender mainstreaming, youth development, comma. Women emancipation uh, or women. Yeah, women, yeah. And access for people with disability. There, women is fine. Agreed, sir. Then can we move to the next uh, uh, point? Is there no point eight there? Yes. Yes. Yeah. There's seven point one eight and seven point one point nine. Comments. We're here, Peter. 
the contra review. Honorable Chair. Who's that? Jerko. Jerko wants to comment uh, on our report. No, no, I wanted, I wanted, I know it's not my place, but somewhere in 7.1.3, I believe, there was reference to the property management policy. I said, I, I, I guess it should be property management strategy, which has been the language the Honorable Committee has been using. I don't remember whether it was three or two, because it was faster. I'm sorry for interfering in the work of the committee. <laughs> okay, you are forgiven. Where is that point? 7.1.3. Are we agreeing, honorable members? Yes, Chair. Okay. Is there any other issue? Are we in agreement? Okay. So it means there's nothing else, ne? All right. Yes, Chair. Okay. Um, um, thank you, um, Ms. Musala. Can we then... Uh, you can you can close your your screen. Can we move for the adoption of the report as we await the rejection from the EFF? Honorable Gosi. I move for the adoption, Chair. Can we have a second? Honorable, I second the adoption of the report. Um, rejections. Honorable Brachman, reservations. Rejections, reservations. <laughs> Honorable Sane, your hand is up. <laughs> uh, our reflection does not come as a uh, bad blood, but our rejection comes, Chairperson, because history tells us that this department needs a very close look at. And when this committee started, Chairperson, we were very strict, and I would like for us, when we finish our term, Chairperson, as this committee and as politicians, to leave a legacy, not just passing a bill which we found from our predecessors, but to leave a legacy, whether it pushes the agenda of Pan-Africanism, whether it helps assist the department, Chairperson, getting they are monitoring and evaluation tools in order and to bring this department, Chairperson, to be in the league that we want to see the AU in, in future, Chairperson. So our rejection is not coming as a by the way, but we have a vision which we want this DECO to be in by the time this committee departs Chairperson. Thank you very much. As long as you don't get the ICT right, you will never realize that vision. So your rejection should not be one-sided because as a portfolio committee, you have a responsibility to 
and monitor the department as well as assisting it to achieve the goals that you want to realize after five years. That's our they response. They must move with us, Chairperson. They must run with us. They can't be runners. Other people are tortoises, and you must appreciate that. Chair, thanks very much. Uh, I strategically wanted to talk after Honorable Musane. <laughs> <laughs> but I must just say that uh, there, there's that report um, as the answers to the questions. There's that report, and as, as you say about the RTC, of the of the um that company that was hired by the ex-minister Sisulu, uh, the independent I can't remember their names now, Water Deep or Deep Water. <laughs> I, I know I know they're friends of someone in the free state, but I won't say that. But uh, I know what 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 we what we must do is we must revisit the report and we must somehow bring it here and we must look at the recommendations then marry it because then I agree with Honorable Musane we must we must somehow we must deliver something as a legacy but yes um, as you say chair we will reserve our rights of course <laughs> you are saying we must have a legacy when you've been in this committee for 20 years and dolo no legacy how no we left you the bill we uh, left you a beautiful beautiful you, bill. You left us a beautiful bill which you could not even you know what move with it because you you did not understand the legislation and the power <laughs> that, that the national assembly has and the bill was that chairperson they left us a new york legacy <laughs> That's the issue. That's the thing. And he wants what legacy now. We are going to bring you a proper legacy ourselves. They were newcomers, and we appreciate that. <laughs> it's called transitional justice, Chair. <laughs> All. Honorable uh, Mulder, are you still here? Yes, ma'am. Oh, seemingly you are eating supper already. Okay. Um, there. Yes, we are on much. the adoption. Yes. Would you prefer me to um, reserve something, or uh, what would you prefer? You, you you are reserving it for what? Because there is no Mazoni that must take a decision for you. No, the committee may, will take a decision when it comes to the house. <laughs> I think people will be allowed to speak, so so it's fine. Yeah, I know people will be allowed to speak and 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 what a view, and then you reject, you support. Now you want to reserve your right to comment as well. Indeed, ma'am. Good. Uh, Honorable Mshwen. Chairperson, that is my right that I have to use when that opportunity comes. Thank you. You are breaking. I, we did not get what you were saying. You have network problems. There was a glitch. We did not capture what you said. Okay. I said, uh, when we come to the house, the, where the reality uh, will be uh, exemplified and exhibited, that's when you will know exactly uh, what ACDP is saying. Thank you so much. So the portfolio COVID is not a reality show compared <laughs> to the house. Yeah. Hey. The climax. It is reality, but when we come to the house, that's going to be the finally what do we have in mind and in yeah, what we have in mind. Mm, I, I know that 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 podium of Nelson Mandela inspires many things when we are standing there. It's okay, we are fine with that. Uh, Honorable Swartz, your hand is up. Why is your hand up? I've lowered my hand, Chair. Honorable Ngozi. I didn't have my hand up, Chair. Thank you very much. But your hand is up. I'm looking at it. It's up. It's up. Your oh, no. That time no, when we were adopting a second, Chair. I'm lowering it. It's lowered. Thank you. Okay. 
Honorable Chapman, you want another bite? Your hand is up. The, the, chair, the chair is so lenient. I see your hand is up and I want to give you another opportunity. Hmm? Is okay. The, um, night chairperson on the EFF, he thinks he's a knight. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable uh, members, um, the, the report is adopted. Uh, it is duly adopted and will be tabled um, uh, in the house. Um, I wish I could have an opportunity to be part of your chat. Your, your chats there, uh, honorable members, they, they look so much interesting, but uh, I'm not there now. Is there any other issue that Honorable members feel that we left out? No. Ne? Honorable members, um, we, we as the portfolio committee hoping that uh, DERCO will host memorial services for our ambassadors. Uh, so that we are able to uh, be part of those uh, memorial services, not, not because we want to speak, because these are the food soldiers that represented our country abroad, and uh, they, they must be celebrated. Uh, with Ambassador uh, Zinziswa Mandela, a doyen in her own right, and she shall be celebrated as such, hoping that uh, the organization that she belonged to will celebrate her for the contributions that she made as a citizen of this country, as a liberator, as a young woman that stood the test of time in ensuring that uh, this freedom we relish today is attained. And we, we hope that uh, as the time goes, we are going to celebrate her and celebrate her as Zinzi Mandela, not as a daughter of Nom Zamoma Digizela Mandela and Nelson Kholishasha Mandela because she is that special child that held the name of Mandela alive when the apartheid system wanted that name to perish. Now, um, as a portfolio committee, uh, we really convey our condolences uh, to both uh, families, uh, the family of uh, Ambassador Ramosipele and Ambassador uh, Zinzi Mandela. Um, our hearts are with their families and we, we shall uh, celebrate uh, all our fall, fallen heroes and, and heroines particularly in the foreign lands. Now we are left with vacuum uh, in those lands, uh, DG. Um, I see that you are likely to disconnect or to be disconnected at five. That's the problem with the load shedding. So um, fortunately, uh, our meeting um, by that time would have been concluded. And also, I want to thank uh, honorable members for always availing yourselves for our portfolio committee meetings and have robust debates and engagements on, on a number of issues. And, um, and you know, it is fulfilling 
uh, to see that uh, we appreciate our different political ideologies uh, in this portfolio committee and members uh, are able to raise uh, their views uh, without fear uh, of contradictions. Um, we, we must keep it up, but also make sure that we don't forget our mandate, which is to assist the department uh, to get where we want to see it to be and be a better uh, department than what we have found and uh, as the portfolio committee. And uh, I can assure you with the rate we, we are moving, we are going to assist the department to, to be what we want to see it to be. Uh, Honorable Deputy Minister, do you have any concluding remarks? Honorable Candice Masiko Lamini, Deputy Minister of International Relations. Are you still Thank here? You, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Chairperson. No, I don't have much to say, but just to appreciate uh, the meeting and the adoption of the report. Thank you. Thanks, DM. Uh, with that being said, Honorable Members, our meeting is adjourned. Um, thank you very much. Uh, DG, at least we saved you from being disconnected uh, in this uh, meeting. Honorable members, um, in our next meeting, we are going to deal, we've got about, we've got five sets of minutes, five. We've not been adopting minutes. So our next meeting, the fourth point on the agenda will be the adoption of the minutes of the portfolio committee. I don't know why these minutes are piled up uh, because we, we have resumed uh, duties as a, as a portfolio committee uh, when there was an indication that we can continue with our work. So we need to adopt those minutes. Five sets of minutes, it's a lot, and it needs our focus, and our focus must not be divided. We must focus on those minutes. Otherwise, we are going to be adopting things that we never said and agreed on. So thank you very much, honorable members. Our meeting is adjourned. Bye, guys. Thank, thank, you, you, thank you very much. Bye, Chair. Thank you, Chair and Honorable Members. Bye, Honorable Msane. Hoping you are not going to break the rules and hold things that are not supposed to be held in numbers. And break the regulations. Observe the regulations at all times. Yawazi, yawazi, yawazi. Yawazi, yawazi, anaki. He and I can the no, it's your middle name. Ungal and Deli are still for him. Hey, Ungu Pagi Anaki, not lying at the corner. Yeah, you are out, you are out of order, Honorable Sun. Honorable Sun, you are out, you are out, you are, you, you are out of order. Don't do that. These are our colleagues. Hmm? Yeah. No, it's fine, uh, honorable members. Uh, thank you very much. Our meeting is adjourned. Bye.